guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So here we are back finishing off another year. So what does that mean? Well, we decide if I actually scored some amazing items over this past year, if I achieved all of my goals that I had at the beginning of 2022. So let's go ahead and jump into this list and see if I scored in 2022. year I start out the year by making a list of things that I want to accomplish throughout the entire year so that if we don't make those items we can go ahead and continue that into the following year but if we do we can move on and find some more amazing items so this past year I had 10 items that I wanted to see if I could pick up and some of these were more so among goals that I had for the year of 2022. So number one on my list, I wanted to go to some more video game conventions. So in the previous years, I had been to the Southeast Game Exchange, which I had such a fantastic time at previously. So I decided to go again in 2022. I met up with some of my friends and just had a blast. We were on this panel together and we got to play some video games. And right at the end there, I did not actually lose. So that was definitely a fun time that I had. And then even the Too Many Games video game convention in Pennsylvania, that was also a blast. I actually picked up a really awesome item that day as I was leaving the convention. So that is something that I will never forget. And then I even got invited to Retro Game Con in Syracuse, New York by the person who actually puts that convention together and by ABC News. So that was a fantastic time that I definitely had going there, kind of getting interviewed and just followed around by the news crew. And then the Hulu episode that I was on. So this has been a fantastic year already. So number two on the list, we actually had more video game kiosks. So did I get any kiosks this past year? Yes, on Easter, I actually picked up the GameCube kiosk, the one that was with the Starlight Foundation, where they had that really awesome, you know, collaboration with Nintendo at many hospitals. So that was a really cool item that I was able to pick up and add to the kiosk collection. And then on my third item that I wanted, I wanted some more video game signs, some more lights, some more displays like that. Well, if you guys remember a couple years ago, I really wanted that Sonic the Hedgehog coming soon sign. And I was very close to getting one complete in the box, still sealed, but the guy would not ship it from California all the way to where I'm at. So sadly, I did not get it a couple years ago, but this year I got one from a good buddy of mine. He actually shipped it right to my house and I was so thrilled because I have that amazing and beautiful Sonic the Hedgehog that light up display. It says coming soon with the dry erase board and it even has that pink neon light. And then like I previously mentioned, I picked up a World of Nintendo fiber optic sign. I got that right after the Too Many Games video game convention that I went to. And I can't be any more proud of that amazing find. I didn't have to pay full retail price for it. I got such an amazing deal. And it really goes great in my video game collection. That is a spectacular sign. I love the fiber optics. And they just look so beautiful in the collection. Never thought I would actually have one of those. But that is an amazing find. And then on to number four. I wanted to pick up a really cool sort of banner or something related to video games. I've always had my eye on those Mortal Kombat ones, the Star Fox ones, but instead of getting those, I actually stumbled upon this when I was in Syracuse, New York. I got the original movie theater banner for Street Fighter the movie. So I can't believe that I scored that. I didn't even pay that much. I paid less than $200 for that huge banner for the movie. That is such a spectacular item and it's definitely really cool because I am a huge Street Fighter fan. So that is something that just kind of like jumped out at me and I'm definitely proud that I was able to check that one off the list. Then on to number five. Number five, I wanted some sort of video game cabinet, some sort of large store display cabinet. Not only did I accomplish that, I definitely blew it out of the water. 
So I really wanted either some sort of Nintendo or Sega or something in between. So I actually scored first this really awesome Sega display cabinet. That amazing store display from back in the day, which you would have seen in the 90s, where they had all of these Sega Genesis games, you know, kind of displayed in these metal cabinets with glass all around it. So when I went to the Southeast Game Exchange, someone actually had one as a vendor there and he wanted it to go home with me. So we made a deal. We made it work out. Everyone carried it out to my car and I just drove home with it. So that thing was so amazing. And because I posted that video, someone actually messaged me and said that they had another one. So I actually ended up getting two cabinets, not only one of my holy grails, I got two of them. And then a little side note, I actually got a six foot Sega cabinet. It's like one of those Nintendo Sears ones where they would have the red stripes on the side. Well, this one is like the one that they had some Sega stuff in. It has the blue stripes on the side. So I got several cabinets this year and I'm just so thrilled. I would love to get a World of Nintendo one. So hopefully I could get one of those in the upcoming years. But I'm so excited for that. So number six was one that was more of like a goal. So what I wanted to do was pretty much get all of my social media kind of together, like my YouTube channel and my Instagram. I wanted them to have close to 7,000 subscribers and followers. Well, we were very close because we have close to 6,500, a little bit over that on both of those. So that is definitely an amazing goal that we are wrapping up the year getting very close to that 7,000 so it could actually happen and I even started a TikTok so that has definitely been a fun time so if you guys are not following me on there you guys should because I do those short videos of just highlighting items in my collection and just some really cool fun things that I'm doing on there so make sure you guys check that out as well even though we didn't quite hit that number, I'm still proud of the entire year and I can't wait to see what comes in the future. So that is definitely a fantastic goal that I had and something that I did not account for. I did not think that I would be featured on a Hulu episode for ABC News' Nightline. So it's Impact by Nightline on Hulu. You can actually see me on episode 8 in the Taylor Swift episode. So that is by far better than hitting any certain number on any social media is that is something that has definitely went out there and a lot of people have actually recognized that. So that is definitely a cool experience that has happened this entire year. So making that one count as a win. And then number seven, I wanted to get some sort of variant boxes in my collection. One of them that is just so amazing, my childhood memories is unboxing that Jungle Green Nintendo 64 with the Donkey Kong, you know, game and everything else. That really awesome variant of the Nintendo 64 box with Donkey Kong 64. That is something that I've been trying to find for so many years, just the box, and I found it this year. So with my actual childhood Jungle Green Nintendo 64 in my collection, completing it finally, having it together like it's supposed to be, how I remember back in the day around the holidays when I got to unbox that. That is something that has been on my list for quite some time and I'm so glad that I was able to accomplish that. And not only did I get that cool Donkey Kong box, I also got a really cool Super Nintendo box with Donkey Kong on it as well. So that was a really cool one. I even got that cool Streets of Rage Sega Genesis box. So just kind of getting some special box variants for different consoles in my collection has been amazing and just really bringing home those memories just even better. Something that you just can't do. And then number eight, I wanted some video game apparel. Now I didn't get any major jackets like I had hoped for, but I did get some really awesome t-shirts and this like polo that I still have to show you guys. So I can't wait for that video to eventually come out. So I actually know someone that's a part of my family's like friends and he actually worked for a particular video game company back in the day. So I got some really awesome video game t-shirts. So I don't want to spoil that. So I'll definitely have to show you guys at some point that little thing and show off some historical and kind of promotional items that I actually have for that along with some original video game art. 
So I can't wait to share that with you guys, but I'm going to count that one as a win as well. So hopefully next year I can get those video game jackets and kind of continue with the video game apparel. And then number nine and number 10. Both of those did not come true, but I'm not going to lose hope because I actually have some big things coming next year. So number nine was some arcade machines. I really wanted either some fighting ones like Killer Instinct, the Neo Geo, you know, like little one that has multiple games in it. I wanted the crazy taxi sit down racing machine, some more light gun machines like House of the Dead, but I did not get those. And I also did not get number 10, which were pinball machines. But I have some big things hopefully coming my way in 2023. So hopefully we can go ahead and take over another area of the house, kind of get that all set together with arcade machines, pinball machines, and so much more. So I can't wait to share that amazing news with you guys. So with mostly accomplishing all the goals that I had set for 2022, I wanted to go ahead and recap some of the amazing finds that I also had as well. So one of them being that amazing Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Happy Meal toy display. So that thing was a really cool find that I'm so proud of because I just love that amazing display. I love all of the toys and that's definitely a part of history there. Also, along with that, finding that once in a lifetime find, maybe even being the only person with a sealed Mike Tyson's punch out standy from the Nintendo Entertainment System era. Finding one of those huge five foot nine cardboard displays still in the original packaging, still sealed is insane. And finding it for only $80 and getting offered thousands of dollars for it is even more insane. So I definitely cannot beat that one. So then along with some more standees, we even have that Mortal Kombat 2 standee, that gigantic huge cardboard display that has all of those images from the game on there and highlighting all of the different systems that it was on. So that's definitely one of my favorites as it also came with the original shipping box. Then even a Forza display. So that huge standee as well that was new in the original shipping box that I did open and you can display it several different ways. So that's a really cool original Xbox display. And then even a Game Boy Advance one for Mario Golf. So that one is definitely a cool one. That one is a smaller countertop standee. So that one I got at the Too Many Games video game convention this year. And then even that Mario statue. Having a full-size Mario statue in my collection is something that I never thought would actually happen. And to find it on vacation and just bring them on home was even more spectacular. So those are some really awesome displays and it just keeps going on. So even that cool Lego Dimensions kiosk that I actually picked up, so it's not like a full-size kiosk, it's like an interactive display that would have been back in the day at Toys R Us. And it has that really cool Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, display on there. And then even getting sent a really awesome poster for the Game Boy Advance era, we have the one that Bandana Gamer actually sent me, that thick plastic, you know, poster for Final Fantasy 1 and 2. So that thing is just so amazing and I'm just so thankful again for that amazing find that he actually sent to me. And then even some original artwork, so some of that concept art that would actually go into making some of your favorite toys that you would have gotten from Burger King. There's Burger King kids meal toys. So having some for The Simpsons and even having some of those for the Rugrats is amazing. So no one else actually has that original artwork, that concept art. So that's something that I can't wait to get framed and on display this upcoming year. Is that is a spectacular find as well. And then also starting my Super Nintendo collecting journey. Going through and trying to complete the entire Super Nintendo set. Now I didn't complete the full set, but I did get some really awesome games out of the deal so far. And I can't wait to see what next year actually brings. But I did start and complete a full Sega Pico North American library. So that was definitely a fun little one that didn't have a lot of games. And I actually found them all local, so that was even better. And then even starting and almost completing the Vectrex set. So that is something that I've been collecting for many years. And I'm only two games away from a full set. So we can see if I'll actually finish that 
before December actually ends, or maybe I'll go ahead and complete it next year. So let me know in the comments below, what are your favorite finds of mine? Do you guys like any of these in particular? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.